Hi, just an impromptu unboxing because if you saw my uh, three cent microcontroller video and it was very popular, 100,000 views or something, you might recognize the name. Paddock. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Paddock. They actually um, sent me, they um, saw my video and they went, hey, you know, we're happy to provide you with a uh, programmer which was hard to get. Um, they basically, their only official rep for selling their programmer for their uh, three cent uh, microcontroller is uh, the Tabay Tabao is uh, actually Tabao uh, website and um, yeah it's a Chinese website that makes it hard anyway there were a few sellers but they looked really dodgy anyway they sent me a programmer and an ice as well the in circuit um, emulator as well because these are one-time programmable chips so the in circuit emulator oh, sorry <laughs> gonna have to uh uh, sorry, I'm just shooting this on my little um, RX100 thing here, so it's not terrific. So excuse the crudity of this video. Didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at what they've sent. And... Paddle. Anything else? Just air, yeah, genuine uh, Taiwanese. Um, yeah, they're Taiwanese, aren't they? I think they're Taiwan. Yeah, I think they're Taiwanese company. Um, yes, Taiwan. There we go. Paddock, Taiwan. So sorry, I'll just uh, do this again. Let's open this. See what we get. And yeah, because you need the in-circuit programmer because they're one-time programmable. So this looks like the uh, this looks like the programmer. Looks just like a bought one, because <laughs> it is. I love the uh, like you know 1980s um, styling with that. Like these are the classic pro like button that you got on all the programmers back in like the 70s and 80s and stuff like that. So like <laughs> fantastic. We got a zip socket that doesn't look like nut. Nah, that 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 ain't a text tool. Uh, you don't expect it. Anyway, it is quite pricey. It's like a hundred US dollars or something for the programmer. So it's not exactly uh, not exactly cheap. We just got USB, nine volt on off. That's about all she wrote. Now, of course, you could potentially uh, reverse engineer this and uh, you know make it open source or whatever. Have an open source programmer for this three cent microcontroller. Um, we've got a uh, one hung low brand, the weird ass Yankee plug. We got a USB cable. That's it. All right. Let's have a look. I'll leave you with a shot of that, and I'll open the other one. And yeah, so really, you know, you you don't every time you do your every time you change your code and test it, you don't want to have to burn a chip. So the in circuit programmer. Now I don't, I've never, I haven't actually seen a photo of this before because I couldn't actually get, couldn't see a photo of it. But uh, you just get a USB like there's no disk, no software, no nothing with it. I'm going to download off the website, I guess. And here we go. Here's the in-circuit emulator. It's really, uh, you know, kind of uh, do it yourself -y, but actually, actually, you know, it's not bad. It's all right. Like, they'd only make these in low volume. Um, and it's not uh, Chinese. It doesn't actually have English on it. I'm not sure if they did a, a special version uh, <laughs> just for me. But anyway, there's your, there's your header, which uh, you can... Um, which of course it, it basically emulates the chip inside this thing and uh, you know you can access the pin and run it as a as a real thing you can either plug it into your uh, device under test or just you know hook up a LEDs or logic analyzer on here and see that your uh, code works so I'll just unscrew the top of that just to have a squeeze under and let's see what we get so I don't know how much this ice costs actually but I would say, if you're serious about writing code for these things, unless, of course, uh, you know, someone like, uh, you know, you had a, a simulator or whatnot, software simulator. ICE is basically an in-circuit emulator. It's a hardware emulator rather than like a software simulator thing. So it actually runs on either your target device. You can plug it in. There we go. Look at that. What have we got here? What I... Hey, that looks... That looks number rubbed offish, um, or that looks <laughs> blank. It's probably some PLD or FPGA. Oh no, my battery's running out. Battery's running out. Better go. 
Okay, sorry, uh, looks like they got some input protection up there. And, and uh, that's a Cirrus Logic Micro by the looks of it. Cirrus Logic job, yep. And uh, all the emulation, I presume, that the uh, ice is done inside there. Either a little FPGA or a PLD, but I can't see a number on that. Anyway, if I can, I'll update it in the uh, text down below. Catch you next time.